Hey hikers, Bigfoot here. We are about one month from the day when I'm going to start my attempt of the unsupported speed record of the Superior Hiking Trail. Now, I am dialing my gear and I'm going to be rocking about a six pound base weight. So today, I wanna to show you the tent that I chose to bring during my FKT attempt of the Superior Hiking Trail and demo how to set it up. All right guys, well, while I was dialing my gear, I really had no thoughts of changing my current sleep system with my tent, which is the Z-Pax duplex tent, just because I've stayed in it just about every night that I've camped since 2015 really. And it served me really well, I love my duplex, and it's an ultralight tent. And then as I was dialing my gear, I really kind of, came to the decision that I'm gonna to have to change some things up because my base weight that I really was targeting was about six pounds. At first it was somewhere around that seven pounds then went to six and a half and now I think I'm going to be really close right around that six pound base weight. I really came to that six pound base weight because I don't want to have more than 20 pounds of total weight on my back when I start my through hike with the time that I want to do it in. So that was really the basis, how to get to 20 pounds total weight, and then backing up, doing the math, and figuring out that I gotta come out at about six pound base weight. So I started looking at bivy sacks and was starting to kind of get bought into it, but the only problem is I've never slept in a bivy sack, and I don't have a lot of camping trips coming up here in the next month that I really get an opportunity to be able to try it out, and I didn't really wanna bring something that I haven't tested out, kind of goes against my philosophy on that whole thing. So. What I ended up going with is the Z-Pax Soulplex tent. I've wanted one of these for a while and got this out of the bargain bin on Z-Pax. And this comes in at a true 15.5 ounces, which is exactly what Z-Pax says on their website. So that's pretty sweet, 15.5 ounces. My duplex weighed somewhere right around 24 ounces. So I'm saving almost a half a pound with going with the Soplex than the duplex. Now the Soplex that I got is the standard Dyneema composite fabric or Cuban, which is 0.51 ounces per square yard. And I think that's all I need. I'm not really worried about it, but you do have a couple other options if you wanna get the Soplex. They'd also have the 0.67 per square yard ounce Cuban, which is the camel version. That's the one that I have on my duplex. And then they have a 0.74 spruce green. So if you want, you can get some thicker Cuban and really make it even more resistant to tears and wear and things like that. Now with all of Z-Pak's tents and shelters they have, the weight of their shelters does not include stakes. So I'm also changing up the stakes. Now with the duplex, I just took the recommended 6.5 ounce ultra light stakes that Z-Pak has on the website. And these come in about eight grams per stake. And these are okay at best. They don't do a great job with holding, especially the storm doors in. I did have a, a couple different times that I had my tent destaked because of these stakes and they just weren't able to hold in the ground very well. So I stopped bringing these. Now the stakes that I decided to go with is the MSR Carbon Core Stakes. These things are really sweet. They are ultra light. They weigh less than six grams. So on my scale, it was right around five grams. And they do a much better job with staying in the ground. And they're really easy to be able to press in the ground because of how fat the top of their head is. So I bought uh, eight of these things. And they're a little bit more expensive than the stakes that you'll find on z site. But these will do a fantastic job. And I won't have to really worry about keeping the tent stakes in the ground and not coming to stake like I saw on the Appalachian Trail with those ultralight titanium stakes that I just showed you. Now, what I wanna do right now is actually show you a demonstration of how to set up the Soplex and I will be using my same technique that I use with setting up my duplex. I found it to be just as effective on the Soplex as long as you had some practice with it. So let's go ahead and get started with that right now. So what you need to set up your Soplex is your trekking poles, obviously your Soplex tent, and then of course your stakes. Now here are the directions of how to set up the Soplex tent from Z-Packs. 
As you can see here, it says you need to have one of your trekking poles at 48 inches and the other at 32 inches. So I would highly recommend to measure exactly what 48 and 32 look like on your pole, mark it somehow so you know exactly what the lengths are and you don't have to fiddle with it on the trail. Now, as you can see here, in Z packs, they recommend to stake out the four corners. I do mine just a little different. I'm gonna set up my soplex the same way that I set up my duplex. I found an easier way to do it, at least for me, on the trail, and I can get almost a perfect pitch every time. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. The first thing that we're gonna do here is find a nice flat surface. And I've already found that, of course. And then I'm gonna take my soplex out. Make sure that the door is facing you guys. And you know what the front of the, the Soplex looks like because they actually have a little Z-Pax emblem on the very front. So just find that Z-Pax emblem and that is the front of your tent. Now, how I set up my, my duplex and then how I'm setting up the Soplex here, Soplex, is staking out the back corners first. And then I take my 48 inch trekking pole, insert it into the trekking pole pocket, just above the mesh. And you wanna angle it just slightly. We'll help it stand up just a little bit better. I found with my technique, I don't have to have it too slanted. And then after I set in my front trekking pole, I'm gonna grab the 32 inch trekking pole and I'm gonna insert it in the pocket in the back and then stake it out. And then I'm gonna come around and stake out the other two corners. Now I've been setting up my duplex tent just like this for over a year now, and I almost get a near perfect pitch every single time. Now I don't have on my duplex the adjustable guy lines, so that's really the reason why I kind of came up with this technique because it was easier for me, but I found with the Soplex, I've set this up about six times now, and I have to only do minor adjustments. I'm gonna set up the one of the storm doors here. And then if you want, you can set up the last two stakes and bring out your walls. I probably won't be bringing these on the Severe Hiking Trail. I don't need the extra space so much. So I will probably just bring six stakes, but it does give you some extra room on the inside. And I did do that every single time while I was on the trail with my duplex. So there you have it. That's how I set up the Soplex. Again, the same way that I set up my duplex. All right, let's take a look here inside the tent. So I got my air mattress out and you can see how much extra space I have at both the head end and my foot end. This is a one person tent, unlike the duplex that is really about double the footprint and with saving a half a pound on this really enjoy the weight savings just want to kind of do a 360 and kind of show you what this soulplex looks like here on the background now here's what it looks like with both of the storm doors completely closed it's got this latch on here, which I really love. I don't have this on my duplex because my duplex was made right before they started adding that addition on, as well as the adjustable guy lines. But that really helps keep your storm doors shut. And I would probably be using that if I was in the middle of a, just a downpour or really windy night. So there it is, my soapplex. All right, now I just wanna show you how I break it down. 
So what I do is first make sure that I undo the storm doors. Then I'm gonna take the storm door out and then just kind of work my way around destaking the tent. Set my trekking poles out to the side. All right, and then rolling this up is really easy. The bag that they give you is probably a lot larger than you really need for this solo plex. It's the same size that I got with my duplex. And obviously the duplex is a little bigger. So what I do is I just fold everything in the inside. I fold it in half. And then I'm gonna fold it into thirds here. And then I just roll it up from there. Nice and tight. This packs down really well. And then slide this back into its Cuban fiber bag. And voila, there we go. All right, guys, well, that's my tent that I'm going with, part of my six pound base weight. I will be doing a full overview of every single piece of gear that I'll be bringing with me on the Spear Hiking Trail. I'm gonna release that on July 13th. I have a couple more pieces of gear that are coming in, so I just need a little more time. And then I will also be doing a similar video on the pad that I chose and the sleeping bag that I chose as well. Well, that wraps it up for me, guys. We're one month away from my unsupported speed record attempt of the Superior Hiking Trail. I'm getting really stoked, I can't wait. There'll be a lot more sightings here in the month of July as we're focusing more on my hike here, the gear I'm choosing, and the food I'm choosing with some other topics as well. Stay tuned for many more sightings and remember to follow Bigfoot. Mm -hmm.